There's a creature that's 200 million years old, and it was around with the dinosaurs. If you're wondering what the hell is this thing, you're not alone. Which is exactly why I just had to get some of their eggs to see if I can actually hatch one. They're called triops, and apparently they're vicious hunters. So I'm gonna build a triops home to see if I can grow these alien-like creatures myself. But I'm also gonna hatch two more strange creatures to feed to my pet triop to see how well they can hunt live prey. So this video is gonna get weird. If he passes these tests, he'll be ready to be released into his real home where I've hidden his favorite food. On day one, I put the tiny triops eggs in the water and gave them their first food. But this is just their hatching place and I'm gonna make their real home later. They should take three days to hatch, so I started to hatch their food while I waited. The first creatures were brine shrimp. They're completely different to triops and they're exactly what triops hunt in the wild. Wait till you see how weird these look in the close-up footage I show later in the video. While they grew, I wanted to build the triops home. I started with sand because triops love to dig. I added some wood and rocks and hid a few of these here for them to find later. For now, the setup looks okay, but I can't wait to add the triops in a few days. I was so excited to see that they already hatched. They don't look like much now, but I have such big hopes for them. They all died. I think I overfed them. I restarted the whole process, but gave them less food this time and waited a few more days. They all died again. I think I underfed them this time. For one last attempt, I crushed the food extra finely. I was starting to worry that these were gonna be impossible to grow, but this was my last chance to find out. While I waited, I went to check on the brine shrimp and I was really hoping they were still alive. Turns out they were, which was a huge relief. They're just tiny dots for now, but wait till you see the close-up footage later. Beside these, I've been growing Daphnia. They're just little dots now too, but eventually they get to a different level of weird. A few days later, I checked the triops to see if they were actually alive, and they were. They're too small for the main tank now, but I'm really hoping they reach adulthood so I can see if they turn out like this and I can see if they're actually vicious hunters. By day nine, the sea monkeys were getting bigger and zooming in, they look extremely strange. The Daphnia though, are even stranger. And they kind of look like they're glitching. By day 11, the triops were growing, but there are only two, Edward and Mike. They got on so well together, and I think they'll be so happy in their new home. Yeah, Mike ate Edward. Now he's Edward. Now only Mike remains, so I really hope he makes it to adulthood. He has so many legs and loves to dig. You can see in the sand all the tunnels he's made. By the way, this is his skin, which he sheds every few days. The way these creatures eat is so weird. They use their legs like a conveyor belt and move the food closer and closer to their mouths. On day 20, it was time for the first test, the cucumber test. If he's able to identify and eat it, he should be able to hunt live food. I dropped the cucumber in and he noticed it, but he kept ignoring it. It seems I left it too late. Now his hunting instincts will never develop. Or that's what I thought. He pounced on it and started devouring it. After a while though, he seemed to be loving it a bit too much. But this meant he was finally ready for the last test. The hunting test. On day 22, I put a Daphnia into the sea monkey tank. And he looked very confused. As you can see, the Daphnia were getting busy. There were already so many tiny ones floating around. The adults were finally big enough to be used as live food. And on day 25, Mike was finally big enough to be moved into his real home. But before that, he needs to pass the hunting test. 
so I got a Daphnia and placed it beside him. He seemed a bit startled at first and swam around to examine him. He bumped into him a few times, but eventually gave up and the Daphnia actually started chasing him. I tried again on day 30, but no matter what I did, he just didn't hunt. It seems Mike was a gentle pacifist, or maybe he was just lonely and needed a glitchy friend. I tried again with Brian Shrimp on day 31, but it just seemed he had no interest either. I was about to give up when I saw him jump, so I tried again a few more times, and this happened. He went for it, but it escaped. I tried one last time, and here's what happened. Even though he only passed two of the tests, he was finally ready to be moved into his real home. Before that, here's three crazy facts about triops. Number one, triops have three eyes. That's where their name comes from, triops. See if you can spot his third eye. Number two, Triops breathe with their legs. They have mini gills on each leg, so each step they take, they're taking a breath. How cool is that? Number three, their eggs can stay dormant for 30 years. They can be dried, frozen, and even eaten by birds and passed through their stomach and still hatch. Wait, can you hear that? I think he's saying something. Okay, time to move him to his real home. He looked so much happier in there and was exploring everywhere. He quickly found his favorite food and had the feast of his dreams. And I reunited him with an old buddy, just so he never gets lonely. 